ahinsa paramo dharma the prime dharma is ahinsa but to protection for for protection of dharma and ahinsa if we have to do hinsa that is also ahinsa for working in any profession you need to have a commitment a bhakti towards it narada sutra actually talks about showing that commitment on the ground you cannot file a story sitting on a table or google searching the first publication non english publication started in 1826 it was named as uttanda martanda and the cover page was dedicated to narada and narada was called as the first media communicator of indian tradition in 1956 onwards many organizations including hindustan samachar actually started narad jayanti as the festival of media persons narada as an institution can be understood through his bhakti sutras 56 principles that narada has given so we from our consciousness gram and vana is going away we consider nagara as the development journalist is supposed to have a knowledge of something of everything rajesh ji just spoke about uh, narad jayanti and many places and especially in the southern parts many media people actually ask me this question why narada and whether he meant it or not rajesh ji also unconsciously said this that it was in the north it was celebrated the fact is in 1826 when the first media publication started in any of the indian languages that time it was in hindi and bengali from calcutta called uttanda martanda the first publication non english publication started in 1826 it was named as uttanda martanda and the cover page was dedicated to narada and narada was called as the first media communicator of indian tradition and most of the publications that started after that in various languages somewhere sometime they have dedicated their editions to Maharshi Narada in 1955 when a committee was constituted under the chairmanship of stalwart of indian history and culture kanaiya lal maniklal munshi k munshi who compiled 11 volumes on cultural history of india there was a committee that was constituted which eventually proposed the press council of india in 1956 that committee also suggested narada to be considered as the first journalist of india since then 1956 onwards many organizations including hindustan samachar actually started narad jayanti as the festival of media persons media personalities media related issues which almost continued till emergency only after 1990s as rajesh ji told vishwa samvad kendras were created and rss prachar vibhag actually took up some of the annual activities 
related to media, then the idea of Narajanti was revived. Now at various places, you know, uh, it is taking shape in various formats. Like for example, if you go to Rajasthan, you will not find a single RSS person on the dais. It is the Pink City Press Club, that is the Jaipur Press Club, who organizes it. And that is the original idea. An entire media fraternity of Rajasthan, irrespective of from which ideology they are coming, from which organization they are coming, which media house they are coming, they come together and celebrate the Narad Jayanti. That is the original idea that media person should come together, should discuss, celebrate excellence among them, but more importantly, discuss and deliberate about the issues they are facing in the media world. Now, what was the logic behind thinking about Narada? There can be many symbols and there can be diverse of opinions. Somebody can say, you know, perhaps uh, uh, Sanjaya was the first communicator because he actually narrated the story what was happening on Kurukshetra. But Narada, as I understand, and as K. Munshi actually tried to project, was not a person. Of course, Maharshi Narada, who is considered as the, you know, uh, child of Brahma and uh, who, who played a critical role in various parts of writing scriptures, was a person. But eventually what we find, when Ramayana is to be written and Valya is to become Valmiki, or Vyasa has to compile entire Mahabharata. Or when Vyasa was suggested to take help of Ganesha, at every occasion, if one personality that is constant institutionally, that is Narada. So Narada is not just a person, it is an institution that communicates. Now, what are the basic principles that Narada stands for? And then I'll come to the present day media situation. Narada as an institution can be understood through his Bhakti Sutras, 56 principles that Narada has given. And it has nothing to do with North or South. They are celebrated everywhere. But three I will focus on. The first principle that he stood for, that for working in any profession, you need to have a commitment, a bhakti towards it. Narada Sutra actually talks about showing that commitment on the ground. You cannot file a story sitting on a table or Google searching. So Narada is always moving. Triloka. You know, he is there on the, on the, on the spot. So one first principle is commitment to the cause, commitment to your profession. But the second most important thing is you have to not just see, not just hear, but to experience the thing, cross-verify the things. And then through your movement, you gain the knowledge, you take the experience. I always say, you know, Bharata is not a matter of Shodha. Bharata is a matter of Bodha. Research people can research Bharat on the basis of various publications, primary or secondary. But it is the journalist who realize Bharat because they go on the spot. Unfortunately, the, the rural and the 
tribal experiences are getting less and less day by day because we all are all, all have started considering ourselves nagarika and everybody is supposed to be only in nagara so we from our consciousness grama and vana is going away we consider nagara as the development our development parameters are completely destroyed the balance that we were talking about human life in incidentally when uh, narada is talking about triloka he also talks about balance sura and asura is also balance for him he ensures samudra manthana so there is a pattern in his communication many people have this you know that there are many distortions of indian uh, scriptures and one of the greatest distortions that britishers did and our films and television channels further perpetuated is the character of narada narada is always believed to be the person who is inciting squabbles who is inciting wars the fact is after gaining the knowledge from the ground information from the ground his job is very simple he informs at the right place at the right time and if it is for the establishment of dharma you know many a times we have created a half hearted understanding of our scriptures so we know ahimsa paramo dharma but we forget the next part of it dharmat hinsa tathai vacha ahimsa paramo dharma the prime dharma is ahimsa but to protection for for protection of dharma and ahimsa if we have to do hinsa that is also ahimsa so he is promoting war only when the dharma is in danger and that's why krishna while preaching gita invokes narada as the person who has a knowledge of 56 disciplines so a journalist is supposed to have a knowledge of something of everything then only you can talk about economics you can talk about environment you can talk about gender you can talk about politics you can talk about policies so narada is that personality which show teaches us commitment which teaches us ground reporting which teaches us communication for the benefit of balance so now it is our responsibility because the role of media is commitment to the cause your profession going to the ground realizing the reality and communicating a right story to the right person for the for restoring balance lok hit and lok mat these two things are important then only true journalism would survive otherwise journalism would come under scanner journalism as a profession would be under danger and anybody and everybody who is a youtuber have access to something would call himself or herself a youtuber or journalist and start giving gyan on something that that commitment to profession having certain skill set and having sense of responsibility about your communication i believe the people who are being felicitated today and giving bsk is uh, giving them prashasti have have played this role of responsible journalism for restoring balance and that's why they are going to be felicitated today i congratulate them in advance and i believe that we will nurture this tradition with various media institution academic institutions even media houses that such values are to be 
created that for which Narada stood for. And that's why celebrating Narada Jayanti is celebrating our profession. Let us celebrate together, enjoy it together, and nurture the values for future generations. This is my simple call. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me.